Hey, this is Dime Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm going to do episode 20 of my, my longest running series. I've been doing this for more than two years. It's called Are You Kidding Me? Where I take a look at just some different plays that will just drive you crazy. So before we get into that, I just want to talk about the uh, the new the new patch that just kind of came up there, or tuner, or whatever they like to call it, the gameplay update. So the fall forward is gone, which I am way, 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 way preferring now. This way, I've noticed my defense got way better. Uh, I've been 3-1 and one in salary cap since I posted that video the other day, so getting a little bit better. I don't know if I've... Uh, it's pretty, pretty dejected by that loss I took, though, after going, taking, getting three wins in a row. But you're hearing that it's better. We're on the upwards trajectory there. Weekend League's not going so great to start off. I haven't played that many, though. We're only five games in, so we can turn that around. But what I wanted to start with in this Are You Kidding Me is kind of different because I heard this crazy story about a crazy bet like what are you in a game of madden you're playing how much are you willing to bet myself not very much i mean i've played some games for like five dollars ten dollars maybe not very much i've entered some tournaments for with two dollar entry fees that's probably my my preferred method but like how much money would i put on a game that i had my own money that i was very confident that i could do not that much but what if you're a famous rapper what if you're little wayne hanging out with birdman well, T-Pain is going to tell us what he saw go down with those guys. Here we go. You know, let me tell y'all a story. Let me tell y'all how, uh, how rich the are. <laughs> uh, you know, when I used to be in the studio with Lil Wayne all the time and Birdman, Lil Wayne and Birdman would uh, bet money. Lil Wayne and Birdman would bet $10,000 a game on Madden, and they would just let the computer play each other. They would bet that a team they picked would beat the team that the other guy picked. And they're they simming didn't play it. the game. They just let the computer play each other. They're simulating. And they would just bet $10,000 on that game. Are you and kidding me? That was the most ballin' <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. I never got in on the bets because, you know, no, no. I'm uh, not an idiot. No. So <laughs> 10000 T-Pain is smart. He knows don't spend $10,000 on AI simulate. Can you believe that? That is crazy. That is next level. That is some ball and gambling. Wow, that is... I mean, I guess what's the difference between that and anything else? I guess, really. Well, I mean, it seems stupid. It must, how long did it take? Do they watch it? Do they just let it roll? Or do they just, like, just quick simming it? And they're like, let's go again. Double or nothing. Like, what would they do? How crazy? I want to know more... But this, I can't even, I, like, they have the games, but they just don't have time to actually play them out. They just wanted to draft the teams and see who, that is next level insane. So let's get in, this is just some regular everyday insane, and take a look at some of my, are you kidding me, plays here. I've been building some of these up for a bit here, I haven't done a video, so, yeah, it's good to get one here. And the first thing we're starting off with, this was just like a weird glitch out that seemed to happen where, for some reason... The uh, this everything was just black on the field. You could barely even see any of the players. You can just kind of see my guys' shoulders and their arms a little bit, and the other team's helmets and a little bit of the stripes. You see they're getting the ball, and then boom, I am able to hit him. So <laughs> that was like luckily the whole game didn't go like that. It clicked back to normal right on the the next play. There <laughs> we could get into it. All right, here we go into this next play, and I cannot remember what they are at all. Here I am on offense on this play though. And here we go. Looks like I'm running a passing play out of here. Oh, wow. This is what I'm noting. Look at this. Plus 17 on that wide. Have you ever seen that? Plus 17 on a wide receiver matchup? I was like, yeah, I'm throwing it up here. Look at that. You should probably have more of a step on him. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, touchdown on the plus, plus 17. I, don't, I feel like it was a normal opponent, too, or I didn't notice. Here we are. I am punting the ball. And check that out. User blocked punt. How often do you see that? Look at that. He gets right in there. Do that with the LT. He's gonna you hit that Y button to like jump up and do that. How often do you see a user block punt? That's as rare as like a like a pass interference, which I get way too often. Here we go. I'm getting so much time in the pocket. Rolling over to the side here. 
and then we're just back running back again, and then put the ball up because he's coming back. And it, I mean, it's one of those things like, should he really have gone that? Probably not. But then it goes right, like basically off of his knees. Like he definitely could have reached down for it. Come on, give me a little bit of an animation there, Moss. Don't let, just let the ball hit you basically in the nuts there. So here my opponent is on defense. He's gonna put a ball up into the end zone. I'm gonna pick it off, but then I catch it and stumble into the end zone. So I'm gonna get a safety on this play. Are you kidding me? This used to happen so much to me earlier in the year. It's gotten better, but now, oh, this was so frustrating that it happened right there again. Oh, so ugly, right as soon as he gets it to right into the end zone. And then boom, this is another replay here. We're seeing something very similar. Peter gets time to throw it up into triple coverage. I pick it off, but again, look at that. I stumble into the end zone, so he's gonna get a safety on me. Are you kidding me? That's happening way too much lately that I've been seeing this happen, especially because it was like seemed like it was fixed earlier in the year, and then it's coming back. So I am on defense here, my opponent getting a bit too much time. We knock the ball up in the air, and then he comes up with it over there. I'm lucky he stumbled after he caught it, otherwise he would have been gone for the touchdown. Look at how high that it goes up, and then perfectly over to his receiver. And yeah, look at that, he had so much open field ahead of him. Maybe Shaz would have caught that. He's like Gronkowski, maybe, we'll see. Here, my opponent is punting the ball. Look at me, I'm gonna catch him. I'm like, okay, I'm lined up to get it. Nope, off my helmet, into the end zone. Safety. Are you kidding me? Another play like that? <laughs> what is going on? Look at that. He backed. I feel like I, I thought I had that figured out, but no. You can see how you can see when it closer up, the animation was like slightly late on the play, so he just like couldn't come up with it. And then my, it just goes down, and they get me in the end zone. I'm here rolling over on offense, and I, you know, it's a terrible play. I throw the pick, and he comes back at me, and I'm able to hit stick fumble and get it back. So I thought we would end this video off on a more positive. Are you kidding me? So, thanks a lot for checking out this video. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about betting $10,000 on simulated games of Madden. Because that's what this guy, that's what T-Pain Witness, <laughs> Lil Wayne, and Birdman do. Because I know that I would not be doing that. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't bet 10 k if I was playing the game. That's for sure. I'd like, to, I'd like to play in a tournament that the reward was 10 k for. But I don't know if I'd put up that much. That is crazy in a single game. I am not that balling. I couldn't even imagine putting up 10, eh, yeah, I could put up $10. $10 a game is very reasonable. $100, that seems a little sketchy to me. I, I feel pretty good at the game, but I would not want to put up $100 in a game because Madden is a fluky, fluky game. Actually, now that I think about it, for that reason alone, having the computer play it out does make more sense. Thanks a lot for checking out this video, guys. I've been Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you later. Oh,